Hello everybody and welcome back to Teresa's Corner. I am Teresa Ruiz and I'd like to start off by thanking you all for choosing to spend your time with me. Today I have a video involving a few topics, one of them being how to drill holes on ceramics or terracotta, like this one here, and then also glass. For those who do semi-hydroponics and you want to reuse your candle containers or any glass container that you'd like to use, you can drill a drainage hole onto the glass that you can use. The second thing would be disinfecting media or pots so you can reuse them. I do reuse my ceramics pots and my leka, so I do disinfect that. Third thing would be how to spray for pest. Uh, last year, if you guys remember, I had a syrups outbreak, um, millibugs, and I had a lot of snails too. Because of the whole COVID situation, I had time to spray my orchids on a monthly basis with neem oil some soap and um, some water, right? And it worked wonders. It got rid of the thrips, it got rid of the mealybugs, but I'm preparing myself and my plants because I'm gonna be gone this year a lot and I won't have the time to treat my orchids for pests. So what I started doing is that every few months, every three months or so, I spray my orchids with orthene. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that as well. But before I get started on all that, um, I do have a little disclaimer. And for those who are not interested in listening to this, it's fine. I'll put a timestamp so you can skip to the sections. But um, for those who don't know, I am not a professional at growing orchids. It is a hobby to me. I enjoy spending time with my plants and enjoying the rewarding blooms, right? Um, so with that being said, anything that I do with my plants, I do because these are my plants and if I lose one because of one of the decisions that I've made, on whether it be, you know, any treatment that I decide to use or the way I'm potting it or the media that I'm potting it, I don't feel too bad. But because I do something on these videos, it doesn't mean that you have to do it, right? Everybody grows in different environments different conditions, different temperatures. I'm in San Diego, it's a lot warmer throughout the year, so therefore I add a lot of moss to my orchids, right? Because during the summer it gets really hot, during the winter it's cold enough, but not cold enough where they're gonna sit in soggy, you know, in sitting water. Just keep that in mind, you guys, that, you know, if I do something on a video, first try it on one of your orchids or uh, test it out. Don't go ahead and do it on all your orchids because I would hate to be responsible that you see something that I'm doing on these videos that I'm trying out myself and then it doesn't work out for you, okay? So just so you guys know, all this, everything that I do with my orchids is a learning process for me. I'm learning as I go and I'm learning a lot from you guys. So thank you all. I have seen these terracotta pot with the holes in other channels and, and I always love how they look. I just, for some reason, I can't find them here. So I decided to make my own. And this is what you see here. Then I have glass containers. I love how they look. So I have this one here and I've drilled a drainage hole on this one so I can keep my paffy petal on. Now, if you choose to do a semi-hydroponic like this one here, you have the option of drilling a drainage hole for your water. For this one, I didn't do it just because I was testing it out and it actually turned out pretty good. You see that new growth there, it's doing pretty good. But eventually I will pot it once it's, um, once it's transitioned itself and I see roots, I'm gonna go ahead and actually drill a drainage hole here. So that I can use that. So let's get started. Alright guys, for this you will need some hearing pro. You're going to need some safety goggles. You're also going to need some gloves. You're also going to need some drill bits. I use some diamond tip circular drill bits. I have them in two sizes, the one half 
and a 3 4 that way I can make two different size holes you can buy these at any hardware store for the terracotta pots you can use your drill bits or you can use the circular diamond tip now for the glass you will need the circular diamond tip I've never tried drilling on the glass with just my drill bit. I find that to be a little scary because I don't want the glass to shatter while I'm drilling. You're going to need your drill and some battery. So I'm going to start with the glass. And you want to make sure you have some water running while you do this or a spray bottle. The glass in the drill bit will get a bit hot. So you don't want it to shatter while you're drilling. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you know where you're drilling your hole. You're going to start at a 90 degree angle to make sure that you create that indentation on the glass. Because if you don't do this, the drill bit is just going to move around and you're going to scratch your entire glass area. And if it's at the bottom, it's not too bad, but you don't want this if you're drilling a drainage hole on the side of your glass container. Hopefully you can see it there. It's quite small but I'm going to continue drilling at a 90 degree angle until I feel that my drill bit is not going to slip. And you want to do this very slowly. You don't want to start off fast because then, like I said, your drill bit is going to slip. Once you have that notch and your drill bit is not moving anymore, you're going to slowly start decreasing that angle until you're eventually flush with the glass. And then from there on, you just continue drilling. So I'm doing this slow so I can show you what the steps look like. But once you start drilling, you really don't have to stop until you're done and you have a nice clean hole. I started drilling without my, my gloves, you guys. <laughs> I had to stop. All right, so right here, you see the nice grooves from the drill. So all you do is just, you know, add a little water and continue drilling. You want to make sure that you are adding water, that you're spraying some water onto the glass and the drill bit to make sure that it doesn't heat up to prevent your drill bit to overheat and to keep the dust from the glass from just flying everywhere and then breathing it in. This process here should only take a few minutes. Of course, the slower you go, the longer it's going to take. But like I mentioned, once you get that groove, you can just go ahead and start drilling. Um, all you have to do is be careful that once you get towards the end, that you're not applying too much pressure because you might shatter your glass as the drill bit goes through the glass. Now, when, once the drill bit is made on the other side of the glass, you want to make sure you set your drill to the reverse and you reverse the drill bit out. You don't want to just pull it out because that can also break your glass. The last thing you want is to have the glass break in your hands. So just be careful when you do this. Make sure you have all your equipment on when you're doing this once again. There you have it. You have a nice hole, pretty clean, no shards, no, you, there's no risk that you might cut yourself with any wedges. All right guys, for the terracotta, you have the option if you have the diamond tip drill bits available to use those. I find this much easier. So you're gonna start off the same way, 90 degree angle, creating that notch, continue drilling until you're pretty much towards the end. Don't worry, it's gonna slip a, a few times. It's fine. Just make sure, once again, that you, that you create that notch to prevent the bit from moving. Slowly drill until you have it. Once in a while, don't forget to spray your drill bit with some water. Once you have that groove, just go ahead and continue drilling. You're going to start noticing that that notch gets deeper and deeper as you go. That's fine. Once you get close enough, 
you just have to be careful that that force that you're applying doesn't push your drill all the way through because it will shatter the the pot so you want to make sure once you're all the way your bits all the way inside the pot that you reverse the drill bit out and then there you go you have your hole now if you don't have the diamond tip you can go ahead and use any drill bit whatever size you want will work fine make sure you pick the size you want insert it into your drill and for this one, it's going to take a little longer. Um, it took me about 20 minutes to completely drill the hole. So all you have to do is just pick your spot and continue drilling. There's going to be different stages. You're going to create that indentation, uh, which is really not required for the drill bit because it won't really slip that much. But once you get going, don't stop. Um, just continue applying the water. That way you know kind of where you're at and it keeps the drill bit cool. And that's it. Just towards the end, once again, make sure that you don't apply too much pressure. Because once that drill bit breaks through to the other side, your drill is going to hit the pot and it can shatter it. So just keep that in mind when you're towards the end. And that's it. Alright guys, now for disinfecting any pots or any media that you want to use, all you need to do is boil it. In this instance, I'm boiling a terracotta pot that I want to reuse. And I boil it for about 20 minutes. Um, once it's boiled, I then just go ahead and remove it and let it cool down. Now if you want to reuse it right after that, just run some cold water through it and you'll be good to use it. Now for your media whether it's ceramics, lava rock, or leka, you can go ahead and do the same thing. It's the same process. Just fill up a pot, throw your media in there, and boil it for a good 20, 30 minutes. Once that's done, drain it, let it cool down. Once again, if you want to use it right away, just run some cold water through it. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Very easy, very simple. You can always store this... Um, media once it dries up and it's ready to reuse all right guys so what i've done here is that i took all my orchids outside and i sprayed them with orthene so this is me treating them for any possible pests so far i haven't seen any indications that i have any pest uh any millibugs any thrips um i did treat them last summer for thrips and millibugs as you guys know with neem oil and it worked wonders after that i started using orthene every three months just as a precaution and um, it seems to be working pretty well uh, the reason why i did it today was because um, there's no sunlight as you can see it's very cloudy but there is a nice breeze and it's almost 70 so i think it's pretty good weather they should dry up pretty soon uh, i noticed that quite a few were dry so i'm going to go ahead and water them and leave them out here might just will take uh, advantage of that the way i do that is that i have this uh, bottle here there's some lines there up to 20 gallons you fill up with your fertilizer or your pesticide that you want and uh, you add water up to the line depending on how many gallons you want then you connect it to your water hose and you spray away all right guys this is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up also if you have any suggestions comments concerns for me do leave those in the comments below i do review my comments on a daily basis and i do respond um also if you haven't yet subscribed please do consider subscribing also don't forget to hit the little bell to receive notifications of when i do post i do post once a week so you guys have a good day. Bye.